Thanks for tuning in. This is the Life of the Miner, and in this video, I'm going to go over how to solo mine on the Squirrel Acorns mining Zen protocol. So let's check this out. Okay, so I did purchase the Squirrel Acorn CLE 101 and the Acorn CLE 215. Now, I don't recommend purchasing this because the Squirrel Miner has not been released, so you can't officially use this. But there is a Alpha Miner out that you can use to mine Zen Protocol. Now, this is not a GPU accelerator, but you are purely using your acorns to mine. Okay, so the guide and all the links will be in the description. Now, first, what you want to do is download the driver. So if you did follow the link, it'll take you to this website and you want to either download for Windows or Linux. Now, once you install the drivers, you'll see it in your device manager. So pulling up my device manager, you'll see SQRL accelerators and my Acorn CLE 101. Next, you do want to get a Zen wallet. Now, I personally use a web wallet. So if you did follow this link, it'll go ahead and take you to this website and you can go ahead and get a desktop wallet or a web wallet. Okay, so once you get a Zen wallet, next you do want to pick a pool. Now the pool I personally use is zenprotocolpool.com, which is this pool right here. Okay, so next you do have to download the miner. So if you did check out that link, it'll take you to this site, the FPGA forum. Now you do have to register and sign in to download the miner. You can either download the window miner or the Linux miner. But for this guide, I'm going to go over the window miner. Okay, so once you download the miner and unzip it, this is the mining files you'll get. Now, depending on which acorn you have, you want to start the correct bat file. So since I do have the acorn CLE 101, I want to go ahead and choose the start 101.bat. Now, once you run the bat file, it's going to download the miner and ask you to power cycle your computer. So basically what this means is you have to completely shut off your computer, pull out the plug, and all the lights must turn off. Okay, so once the computer turns back on, you want to edit the bat file. So you want to go to the mining folder, right click on the bat file, click on edit, and then change your pool, your wallet address, your device name, and your email address. So if you did check out the guide, you want to adjust it right here. Once you edit the bat file, you want to go ahead and run it and adjust the core clocks with either the plus or minus sign on the keypad. Okay, so as you can see, this is my Acorn CLE 101 Mining Zen Protocol. Now I am averaging about 150 mega hashes, but this is on stock settings with no tweaks. And this is mining on the Zen protocol pool. Now adjusting the core clock and increasing the core to 250 megahertz, I was able to average around 187.5 mega hashes. Now on the Acorn CLE 215, I was averaging around 200 mega hashes on stock settings. Now boosting the core clock on the Acorn CLE 215 to 330 megahertz, I was able to average around 330 mega hashes. Okay, so I don't own the Acorn CLE 215 Plus, but reading the forums, I do hear that they are stable at 330 megahertz and they average around 330 mega hashes. Now, I do want to note that every Acorn is different and you may get different results. And the Acorns can run at a max at 125 Celsius before thermal shutdown. But to keep it safe, I would keep them below 100 Celsius. So checking out the power usage on the acorns, they do consume about 5 to 10 watts and they do earn about 4 to 6 cents a day, 4 cents on the CLE 101 and about 6 cents on the CLE 215. And this is as of December 16, 2018, if the price and difficulty all stay the same. Alright, so thanks for checking out this guide. And hopefully the squirrel miner comes out soon so we can actually use these devices. But of course, thanks for watching and always happy mining.